so glad you joined me today for Tea Time with Princess Penelope. So today I want to have a discussion with you. I typically use this glass teapot. It's my favorite Kasori teapot and it just looks beautiful on my table and I just enjoy the look of it. But it does take more work than say an electric kettle. So um, the question I have for you today is which one do you prefer? Do you prefer a glass tea kettle that you heat on the stove or do you prefer an electric tea kettle? And does it impact the taste of your tea? So today I'm going to do an experiment. In the comments below, tell me which one is your favorite. Do you prefer a teapot or an electric kettle? So comment below, but I'm going to do a taste test and see which one makes better tea. So let's head to the kitchen. Okay, so as our water is heating, I want to talk to you about a couple of things to think about with using a stovetop teapot and an electric kettle. So with a stovetop teapot, especially a glass one, one thing you will have to think about is the fact that it needs to be attended. So while the heat is on, you have to be nearby, especially because it doesn't have a whistle. So it won't alert you to the fact that your water is boiling. And uh, also just make sure that whatever teapot you're using, if it's glass, that it's borosilicate glass. Uh, it can take very high temperatures and uh, will not crack and break with the heat. Uh, that said, if you're using a gas stove like I have, uh, you will definitely want to make sure your heat only stays on low or medium uh, just to protect the glass. Now with an electric kettle, um, unless you buy a very expensive one, the kettle itself will, itself will get very hot. And so uh, just make sure if you have young children or just being careful yourself, uh, make sure it's pushed back from the edge of the counter so that nobody gets hurt by accidentally touching it or touching it on purpose, not realizing that it's hot. Um, now with this tea kettle uh, in particular, when you push it down, the light is on and it's heating. When you push it up, then it is not heating and just maintaining its warmth. So um, it looks like both of these are ready. So let's head back out to the garden. While we're walking out there, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, soon we're gonna do our taste test and see which teapot does the best with making our tea. Okay, now that we're back out in the garden, let's go ahead and brew our tea. So today I'm just using uh, just a simple black tea. And um, this is one of my very favorite teas. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pour in this one so I can start seeping. With black tea, black tea, I typically just let it steep for a couple minutes, nothing too long. It tends to get bitter if you let it steep for too long. And one tip that, especially with tea bags, that you will want to think about when you're making your own tea at home is to never ever squeeze the tea bags. It will make your tea bitter and it will just taste rather nasty. All right, so. Which one do you think is gonna taste the best? Let's try the uh, glass teapot first. Tastes pretty good. And then let's try the electric tea kettle next. Hmm. To be honest, I don't really taste a difference which is a good thing because no matter what kettle you have or what teapot you have, it will taste likely the same. Now, one tip I will give you, um, but before I give you that tip, 
I have reviews on both of these, exactly what I like and don't like. There are things I love about this tea kettle, um, and but there are also things I don't love about it, as well as this teapot. It's my absolute favorite and people always ask me where I got it. And uh, there's things I love about it and things I don't. So uh, if you are want either of these, there are links below or you can see my reviews where I break it down exactly what I love and don't love. Um, but the one tip I will give you that will ensure that your tea tastes good every time is to always use fresh cold water from the faucet or uh, the refrigerator, um, whichever one you use. Always use fresh cold water it, there is uh, oxygen in the water and it always gives your tea a fresh taste versus a flat taste. If your tea is tasting flat, then you probably want to look at what kind of water you're using. So cold, fresh water and, uh, and they both make excellent tea. Until we meet again next time, take care.